good damn afternoon, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Make sure you go to mygreengear.com, 15% off all my green gear, cool shit like this, all the way through uh, Black Friday. Can you say Black Friday anymore? How about Friday of Color? Does that make everybody feel safe? All the way through the Friday of Color, 15% <laughs> off all green gear. Now, I want to talk about something uh, that happened, I think it was yesterday. Um, what's his name? Uh... Takeoff from Migos. Forgive me, I don't listen to that music. But Takeoff, one of the members of Migos, a huge rap group. Um, he was shot and killed last night in Houston during a dice game. And he was shot, you know, another rapper dead. It's nothing new. It's sad, but it's nothing new. But what do you what what do you think comes of this culture that they're constantly stoking the fires of? You know, this music is based in violence, drug use, uh, sexual assault, sexual uh, sexual promiscuity. Speaking of sexual promiscuity, what's her name? Uh, Retardy B? I'm sorry, you call her Cardi B. I call her Retardy B. You know when I started calling her that? When she sat down with Biden after he got elected and she was sitting there saying, brr, brr, ski, brr, making all these stupid ass noises because she's an uneducated hood rat ex-hooker. So she is making a video and not only is she wearing a skin-tight bodysuit, where I'm sure if you were standing in front of her, you saw nothing but moose knuckle in front of her kids. But anyway, she's doing a video on one of her social media platforms, and she's playing her song WAP, you know, wet-ass per nine -er. And when her kid comes in the room, she's like, oh, nope, nope, and she turns the music down. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, retardy B. You can talk about having sex with strangers and swallowing their life juice. That's okay for other people to hear, other people's kids. And by the way, if your kids listen to Retardy B, you are fucking up. But when your little angels come in the room, no, 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 you can't hear this poison. You can't hear this brain poison that I'm pumping out in every outlet, at every opportunity across this world. No, 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 you don't need to hear that. It's for them. But you can't be totally shocked when another rapper gets killed. If that's the kind of lifestyle you traffic in, and those are the people you put yourself around, this is probably what's going to happen. But there's video out there of his body laid out. And what's sad is there's people walking by. One dude walks by. Maybe, and maybe he's, you don't even know. Maybe these people have heard the yelling and cussing and the fighting and the gunshots. And they just want to get the fuck out of there to not become a victim themselves. Probably. But it's still cold and callous to see a dead body laying there and people walking by like they don't see it. And so there's a rapper called Designer. And I'm not even sure if he speaks English. I don't even know. I've seen a bunch of interviews or clips of this guy speaking and I can barely decipher what he's saying. But in this, uh, there's a video, but I'm doing this on my phone. So oh, you can hear the audio. You don't want to see this fucking idiot anyway. But he's crying about, oh, man, he's gone. I can't, I'm done. I'm done rapping. I'm done. I'm done. And I'll tell you what I think of what he's saying when he's done. But listen to this shit. Why? Why do we do this? Why do we do this? Why do we fucking do this? This ain't nothing. I swear to God, this ain't nothing I'm done. Oh, and by the way, not Naren fucking tear coming out of his eyes. He's pointing to a plaque on the wall. He's walking around his house and he's pointing at a plaque on the wall saying, I'm done. This guy, this rapper, I'm done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. I'm going to take off, bro. It's done. Boogers and shit in his Y'all wanted it. It's over. Y'all wanted it. It's over. Y'all wanted it. It's over. My brother. Bro. I can't even hold the tear. I can't even go quiet. I can't go closer. I can't call none of these niggas. No, I'm done. I can't live like this no more. I'll be rock. I'll be take off. I'll be Nipsey. I'll be Biggie. I'll be everybody, bro. <laughs> Man, if you don't shut your bitch ass, you're over emotional, female like bitch ass up. You hear this fool? 
and he's walking around at his big old house holding his phone. Now, when's the last time you he said that's his brother? That's my brother. That's my brother. So it's a, safe to say he was a really good friend of his. Let's say you have a really good friend of yours and you just get a call out of nowhere. They've been gunned down. Are you going to hop on your IG? Are you going to hop on your Snapchat, your Instagram, or your Twitter? Or are you going to contact other people that knew him, his family? Where are they gathering? How can I help? Are you going to go over there to his family? I don't even call. You're just going to go. You're going to be devastated. You're going to be sad. You're going to be really crying with actual tears coming out of your eyes. Not, man, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Trying to get likes and clicks and shit. His body ain't even cold yet. And you're up here acting like a jackass trying to get an Oscar award for most ignorant bitch of the year. What the hell was that? I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, God. What, what part of the game is this? R.I.P. Dipsy. Biggie. And, and that somebody else did that shit. Who was it? Game? Yeah, he's riding around. Oh, I'm just thinking about my man, Dipsy. Oh, it's my brother. Because that's what you do. When somebody close to you dies senselessly and out of nowhere, you got to hop in your car and just drive around the city. You're not going to go to them to be with them and grieve with them and offer yourself, offer your services to them. What can I do for you? What do you need? No, you're going to drive around the city. <laughs> I'm so distraught. Let me get my phone. Okay, wait. I don't like that angle. All right, hold on. Maybe from this side. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Let me change my hat. All right. Let me put on these glasses. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I don't give a shit about him acting like that. Instead of wasting your time on fucking IG or whatever you are on. Yeah, he was on Instagram Live. Over a thousand people watching this bullshit. You could have been on the phone with his family. You could have been driving to his family to help them. Let me bring some food. I remember when my dad died, my uncle, my aunt's boyfriend at the time, he took me, my best friend was spending the night. He took us out to dinner or I'm sorry, to breakfast because my dad died like in uh, like 430 in the morning. So they came over and they took us. He took us to breakfast to get us out of the house, to get us away from that, to allow my mom to, you know, grieve or handle her business, start the, you know, the whole process of death. You know how it goes. Somebody dies. You congregate where they died or at their mom's house or parents house or whatever, their house. People start showing up. It's sad. It's quiet. You know, sometimes it's crying, but there's always a, a time where it's just quiet. You're just sitting around. You can hear the refrigerator humming. There's a whole process to death. We, you know, what we all go through. You know, you know what happens next. You don't hop on IG and start fake crying. Golly, man. What's sad? You bitch ass punk. What do you do? What happened to crying at weddings, funerals, and births? This ain't at the funeral yet. Keep that shit private. You're a man. You don't be blubbering and acting like this with snot and shit in your nose. Like you're six years old. Like like you're uh, what was that little? What was Martin's character's name? Was it Roscoe? He used to play that little kid. And he always had snot coming out. Of the, Gita, let me in your house, Gita. I'm gonna tell Martin. Him. That's what you look. You like Roscoe. You like a fucking little kid. You're a man. You're not supposed to be acting like this. But maybe he's not. Because wasn't he the one wearing like corsets and shit and dresses and skirts? So maybe he's not a man. But you sound like one. You look like one. Start acting like one. Fake ass shit. Fake ass outrage. I can't. Man, I can't stand all these people who act like they were fans of Nipsey. Who the fuck heard of Nipsey Hussle? Unless you were a hip hop fan. Who had heard of Nipsey Hussle until he died? To all these people come out of the woodwork. All these blue check marks getting on his nuts. That was my boy. If he was your boy, why weren't you promoting him? Getting his album out there mainstream like yours. Snoop and other fake ass people. This is a chance for you to ride their death coattails. And get some clout. Get some extra clicks. Look at me. 
I met him one time six years ago in a drive through I shook his hand. Look at me. I knew him. He was my brother. I tell you what, God forbid someone who's supposed to be my good friend or my best friend dies. You won't see me making fucking videos like this. You have no idea because I wouldn't get on social media until I completely compose myself. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Why? Why do we do this? Why do we fucking do this? <laughs> With his gold chain on. I gotta make sure I get my gold chain in there. I don't wait, wait, wait. I like that chain. Uh wait, 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 this chain. No, no, I like that chain. Okay. Okay, this chain right here. Okay, you guys ready? <laughs> <laughs> Man, get out of here with that shit, designer. You better design yourself a nut sack and attach it, you punk. Get the fuck up out of here and go in here with my beautiful wife and kids. Do you know how it goes? I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Utilize the link tree link. Get your ass over to jerichogreen.net, mygreengear.com. I am Jericho Green. <laughs> Man, I'm out.